let me show you guys, but she's getting four top teeth in at once and she just wants to chew on everything and anything. So much drool. I got a good picture and I posted it on my Instagram story. And a lot of you guys were saying that it looks like she has a lip tie. And I totally agree. I had no idea that she had a lip tie until I posted that picture. So at her nine-month checkup, I'm going to mention it to her pediatrician and then hopefully get a referral to someone that specializes in that because I know pediatricians don't really specialize in that. And most of them will just like write it off and act like it's not a big deal. But um, I think that's why I wasn't able to nurse her as long as I wanted to because she just wouldn't latch and just wanted nothing to do with breastfeeding at like four months. And I think it's because of her lip tie. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get that checked at her nine month checkup soon. She's almost nine months. She'll be nine months on the 15th. Yeah, you're getting so big. You're getting so big. Yep, everything in the mouth. The reason why she's like fully dressed right now is because in the middle of the night last night when I was changing her diaper, I forgot to put the one of the straps over her diaper to secure it. Apparently I was like really out of it, so she peed through or it like spilled out of her diaper because it wasn't on properly and it got all over her sleeper, so I had to change her this morning. No, mama's silly, huh? I just got my nails done like a couple days ago and they're already starting to chip, like right there on my thumb. That usually doesn't happen ever when I get the dip powder. They will last me like three weeks without having any chips, but this time I went to a new lady and she only did two coats of the powder instead of three. Usually when I get white, I get three coats and so it's not as thick as it usually is and I think that's why it's chipping but I'm so pissed because you spend a lot of money when you get your nails done and for them to only last like three days I'm not happy <laughs> I might go back and see if they can redo them because this one's chipping too on the corner it sucks you gonna hang out with dad while mama takes a shower Bailey's awake Adam just took the girls downstairs to go eat some breakfast. I think he's going to make pancakes for them and put Shay down for a nap because she's like way overtired and she's been up for like hours. But I wanted to share this company with you guys because I wanted to ask your guys' input if you guys have tried Rodin and Fields before. I want to know how it worked for you because I'm trying a new skincare and I wanted to just try this company out and see how I liked it because I've seen it all over social media, but I know there's like a lot of different mixed reviews on this company so I just decided to go out on a limb and try it for myself and see how I like it so I'll definitely give you guys a review after I've used it for a while just because I know skincare takes a while to see any results so I'll let you guys know how I like it sorry the water in the background is dripping because I just got out of the shower um, but if you guys have tried this line let me know in the comments if it worked well for you I'd love to know your experience on it because skincare is such a personal thing um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on how this ends up working for me. Your girl is just not having it. Okay. 
I think she just can't get to sleep because she's overtired because the last time she slept was at 4.30 this morning. That's when she woke up and it's now almost 8.45. So she's been up for a while and I know she's in a lot of pain because of her teeth so I gave her some Tylenol. Um, I did the nose Frida with the saline. Um, she has her humidifier going in her room with her diffuser. Um, I'm diffusing Bug Fighter and um, Breathe Easy. And I sprayed some lavender room spray in there. Um, what else? I put some vapor chest rub on her and her feet with, with um, socks over top of that. And what else did I do? Oh, the Wellaments Teething Oil. I've talked about that before on my channel. That stuff is amazing and she loves when I put that on her gums. She doesn't fuss or anything because she knows that it's going to help make her feel better. So um, she has that on her gums right now. Um, I'm waiting for the Camellia teething tablets to come in the mail. I ordered those off Amazon because we recently ran out of those and those work really well too. Um, but I didn't give her any of that because we ran out obviously. But I don't know what else to do. And I don't really want to keep her up because she's fussy when she's awake because she's overtired. So I'm just like praying she falls asleep. I don't hear her crying right now so hopefully she gets some rest. I cannot be bothered with my hair right now though. This is as good as it's gonna get. It's still wet from the shower but I'm not in the mood to blow dry it or curl it or any of that right now. I'm super hungry so I'm gonna go downstairs and probably eat. I think Adam made pancakes for breakfast. I think Shay fell asleep too so that's good. Mmm. I put, I put some uh, bananas in there. You did? Mm -hmm. Is this all for me? Thanks babe. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, and he unloaded the dishwasher and put all the dirty dishes away. Since when, babe? <laughs> this never happens. It's pancakes. How is it? Yummy. Yummy. Say thanks, Dada. Thanks, Dada. You're welcome. Okay, let's do your hair, okay? It is super. Wanna brush your teeth? Super. It is super, super, super. What? Okay, Bailey and I are heading out right now. We're going to go on a little mommy-daughter date. I try and do this at least once a month with her, especially now that Shay's been in our family. It's just really hard to find that quality one-on-one -on -one time with her, and I can just sense she's like craving that from me a ton right now. So Shay's still napping. Adam's going to stay with her and spend time with her while I take Bailey and just spend the afternoon with her. We're going to head down to the San Clemente Pier and there's like a little swing set down there and we're just gonna walk along the pier and maybe get some ice cream or something. Um, I just filled up with gas, so we are on our way. Are you excited, Bailey? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Look at our view. So pretty. Forward, backward. Ready to push you? Ready? One, two, three. Show me how you pump your legs. Good job. So Adam is installing something in Bailey's new room. So we're playing on the iPad for quiet time. And this is the app she's playing with right now. It's called Toddler Games for 1, 2, 3, 4, and it teaches them colors and shapes and mazes and a bunch of other things, and she's actually learned a lot from this app. So this is what we're doing for quiet time today. I thought I would share just in case you guys were on the lookout for like a new app for your toddlers. This one's really good. I'm prepping dinner right now. We're going to be having seasoned, let me focus it, seasoned chicken, potatoes, and green beans. I'll leave the recipe in the description. 
but it's super easy. Just put the chicken in, the green beans, and then the potatoes on the other side. And then I'm gonna drizzle the sauce on top and then cook it on high for four hours. You ready for a nap, bug? I feel like I am gearing up for a tournament or something every time I put Shay down for bed or a nap because there's so many steps in order to get her down to sleep. I told you guys earlier this morning everything I do before I put her down and the last thing I want to do in the middle of the night is all of those things. So that's why it's just so hard when they're teething and they're sick at the same time because you just have to do so much for them before they finally fall asleep and each time so she takes two naps a day still and then for bedtime and then she's waking up like multiple times in the middle of the night so I have to do this routine like over and over and over again and I feel like I've been doing it now for like almost a week so I'm just like burnt out but um, I hope that she falls asleep because she needs all the sleep she can get right now I feel so bad for her sick and teething I just can't even imagine how hard that must be um, but on a happier note, we got some new nightstands, and I want to show you guys what they look like. They're from Amazon. They're so cute. So here's what it looks like. What do you guys think? I think it's so cute. I'm very impressed, especially with it being from Amazon. You never know what you're going to get, especially like it being something like a nightstand. But I did all of my measurements beforehand, and I'm super proud of myself because I got it all right, and it's just, it exceeded my expectations. I feel like it's even prettier in person. And I'm not going to leave all that stuff on there. I'm going to get like a fake green plant and then maybe a lamp or something. And that like little storage basket isn't going to be there. I'm going to get a different one. But I think it's so pretty. I will leave a link for you guys in the description. It's less than $100. Very good quality. Very impressed with it. I also switched over from my Fawn Design diaper bag to the Ryla. And you guys, I never thought I would say this, but I think I like this one more than my Fawn Design. I can't believe I'm even saying that, but I love it. I'm obsessed with it. So the inside has insulated pockets, and that's why I love it so much. And it's just more sturdy. So those are the two pockets that are insulated. And it's just so much more sturdy. So this zipper goes all the way down and you can pull this down. It's hard because I have the camera. But you can find everything you need so much easier. And it's just a lot more sturdy. And I love this side pocket right here. So I put the iPad in there sometimes. You can put whatever in there. And then these for bottles, they come out so much farther. So I can put the Fuel Baby bottle in there and it fits perfectly. Whereas the Fawn Design one, I can't fit that bottle or the Komotoma bottles in here. So I love that. And I feel like it's just so chic. I love the gray color. So I'll leave a link for you guys in the description for it. And if you use my link, you get 10% off. So be sure to check it out. I'm obsessed. Yes, you guys, this literally took me three minutes to prep and then the crock pot does all the work for you. So this is my kind of meal. This looks kind of gross actually because 
I'm shredding all the chicken up so that Bailey can eat it easier. But I promise you it's super good, super easy, pretty healthy. You guys have to try it. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Adam and Bailey just left to go get Adam's haircut, and Shay is still napping. And it's like almost 6 o'clock, so that's going to bite me in the ass later. <laughs> and I still need to edit this vlog so it can go up tomorrow morning for you. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>